Wrapping up 2021 and looking to make 2022 your best year yet. Hi, I'm Dr. Angela Yeagley. Uh, welcome to Sage Health TV. Um, so today I just want to walk you through, I feel like, um, like five goals that I think are a really good balance of like physical goals and as well as um, kind of some emotional, maybe spiritual, spiritual goals too. Um, and just, just for balance, you know, for most people, 2021 was probably like a continuation of 2020 and maybe not the easiest of years, you know, with some restrictions and, and people just not always being in their normal routine, which can feel, you know, stressful. Um, um, but, you know, I think some good things like in some ways, you know, have developed from that in a way that, you know, we really recognize now the importance like of community, the importance of being around other people, you know, the importance of human contact <laughs> and hugging. Uh, I'm one of those huggers that has really had a hard time during this time. Um, so, you know, and with that, I think greater appreciation, you know, of our fellow, fellow humans, your friends, you know, your family, like everybody just around you that you really appreciate them, you know, when you get the chance to to be around them. So, um, you know, kind of taking that and, you know, looking at that and shedding that light in 2022 that, you know, embracing more of that, I think is, is great. So let's start with number one. Okay. Not again, a big surprise that it's boost your immune system. And I really wanted to lead with that. You're like, Oh, that's so obvious, you know? Um, but I'll tell you, you know, there are a handful of people that we see that are like, absolutely. What can I do? You know, what can I change to be, I want to be as immune resilient as possible. And, um, but not everybody's doing that. And I think it's kind of a missed opportunity, uh, cause there are a lot of things we can do to make us, you know, stronger. Um, and so first I want to talk about nutrition. So um, I don't think I've mentioned much turkey tail. So it's a type of mushroom, incredible mushroom. So um, it has been studied actually to improve the immune system even in the face of cancer. And that's how it's being studied right now. But, you know, if, if we're looking at everything else that's not cancer, um, you know, it's an incredible addition to your repertoire of supplements um, that I would highly recommend. Um, vitamin D, of course. Um, and vitamin D, there's a range, but most people who live in the Pacific Northwest um, need about 10,000 and even people who, you know, are in hot states because they're never in the sun because they're running from it. Um, it's, it's actually still around the same recommendation. Um, I like to see that level in the blood up to around like 70 or 80. Uh, and then uh, NAC and glutathione. So NAC is an amino acid that turns into glutathione. So um, it is incredible. And that's probably why it's always like sold out on the shelves here these days um, because it's antiviral, it thins mucus, it really protects protects the lungs, it protects the respiratory system. Um, so incredible, and then turns itself into a super antioxidant. Um, so glutathione has a lot of very similar, it it's, behaves very similar to NEC, but it's stronger. Uh, so I really like this one, especially if you've got, maybe, you know, your immune system needs more support or you've got some toxicity going on, or you've got, um, you know, you just need brain support as well and nervous system support. Love glutathione and we do it like as IV too, which is really incredible. So uh, then getting into diet. So diet really, because I mean, think about it, you know, you put these little supplements in your body, great, but every day you're putting all this food into your body and it's impacting your immune system. And so, you know, a lot of the diets that I mentioned here, like Whole30, Paleo, Keto, and Whole Foods, and I don't mean like going to Whole Foods, <laughs> eating whole foods. Um, uh, you see sugar is not on that list, you know, really, and processed sugar. I mean, that will, at five grams, which is like a teaspoon of sugar, will suppress your immune system for 12 hours. So you, you know, when you're, think about that, like if you're about to go into a situation where you feel like you're going to be exposed to something, um, you know, or if you're fighting something off, do not do sugar, do not get the NyQuil with sugar, you know, get the, get the sugar free one, um, or get the pills, right? So, um, really important. And I kind of want to tie it into addressing underlying inflammatory conditions because actually when we're looking at risk, you know, and I'm talking about the pandemic here, you know, but this really goes along the lines of any infection that if you have significant cardiovascular disease, if you have diabetes, um, you're at more risk for you having a severe reaction to the things that you're catching. And so, um, 
really kind of, you know, you have to bring that, you know, to your healthcare provider, your functional medicine doctor, your naturopathic doctor, um, because those are the things that really need to be worked on. It usually sugar is, it tends to be a part, unfortunately, of a lot of people who have those conditions. So, um, and then just other good foods that you can bring in, even if you're not like launching into a whole 30 right now. Um, bone broth is amazing. So especially if you're getting uh, grass fed, it actually has immune cells in the broth, which is really cool. That impacts your own immune cells. Uh, mushrooms, and I'm talking about pretty much everything except for like the white button mushrooms, but even portobellas, shiitake, maitake, all of those. Uh, dark leafy greens, everybody. Does everybody love those? No, nobody, <laughs> not everybody loves those, but you can find creative ways to like put them into soups and stuff like that. Or, you know, if you love it, great, eat more of it. Um, so your goal is to you know start you know maybe start one of these supplements something like that would be fantastic uh, please reach out if you have questions um, second visualization and meditation and I think I said that backwards on there but um, I'm a huge fan and so what's the difference and, and what can you get out of it so meditation is essentially just finding a state of calm or focus um, and usually at you know what you're shooting for is not to have your mind talking to during that time. We call it monkey mind, right? It's, it behaves a little bit like a toddler sometimes, kind of does what it wants to do while you're trying to be peaceful. And so usually finding something to focus on, whether a lot of people will use sound, it can even be a fan, you know, um, a bell or, you know, just a constant sound, you know, like a chime or something. Um, and really trying to come back and have no thoughts during that time. Uh, just so really just feeling peacefulness. Um, and what they found in the research is really cool that people with anxiety that goes down, blood pressure goes down, you know, some of the other longer term, like things that contribute, like stress impacts, like autoimmunity, those things calm down. So it's actually quite cool. Um, visualization is a little different. It's similar in the sense that you're being peaceful and you're being calm, but um, you might in this way, like picture something that you would like to see change. And, and that, you know, in this context, maybe you're thinking about your health, right? So maybe you're thinking like, I have this area in my body that needs some attention and um, and so what I recommend typically is to find like a color of light that you really are, you resonate with and that for some people it is that bright light other people it's like I love pink so I'm gonna put pink on it um, and take that with good intention and whatever your belief system is you don't have to be you know have a belief system to do this at all uh, but you know if you recognize like the presence of energy you know or good healthy energy that kind of calling that to that area and really bringing that to the area that needs it and and thinking of it as like nourishing or something an area that you really love like you know so if you really if that's difficult like think about how you feel about somebody or like your dog or somebody that you really love you're like I would do anything and and you bring that same energy to that place so um, and so at least what goal on this one I would say at least 10 minutes you know if you could give it 10 minutes a day that's fantastic the longer you're gonna get more benefits so I would say at least 10 minutes maybe even two to three times a week or every day would be awesome um, some resources I like are insight timer um, and calm those are two apps that are fantastic um, okay so coming into number three performing a cleanser a detox so this can span you can do any kind there's so many types of detoxes things like that so uh, with this one and actually for boosting your immune system I'm gonna include some links where we have gone over this in detail um, and so if you really want to be walked through you know then I'll check the link out and and it's there so but just to kind of give it to you as like some how you could think about it is it could be as small as like a three-day cleanse and usually that's more intense like you're just going down to just veggies you know lots of veggies soups broth um, doing things like you know really pushing your liver doing lots of milk thistle other li liver supportive herbs uh, sweating if you can just like intensively sweat those three days and that's infrared sauna or even like the home uh, home sweating like in the bathtub with Epsom salts um, so you know and then doing other things like binding like activated charcoal 
bentonite clay, you're really trying to bind the toxins that your body is trying to get out. Um, and then you can actually do this. I mean, you can do something very similar where you're incorporating like a whole, a whole 30 or a paleo uh, with like two weeks worth and where you're intensively taking those binders and fiber and uh, lots of, lots of liver support, you know, so you're just really trying to push that liver. So, um, and, uh, one thing, actually a, a documentary I think is really cool. It was called uh, fat sick and nearly dead. And so what that is, is a juicing documentary that, um, it's, which doesn't sound exciting maybe at all, but it's incredible. Like you watch this person who just does greens juice transform their body and actually suppress or their their very strange autoimmune condition that's rare goes into complete remission so it kind of shows you the power of food and cleansing so highly recommended i think it's on netflix um so goal here pick something pick a date you know say like get a friend like okay we're gonna do three days you know let's pick this weekend long weekend and if you need guidance in that we would love to help you so we have lots of resources number four um this is a little more detailed but discovering your vitamin gen vitamin genetics so what does that mean you may have heard of mthfr and there are many others like that so why would you want to do that um so it really can help us guide you like where are you deficient where are your underlying needs that really need to be supported um, so, you know, people with methylation, that's, that's when you activate your bees. Um, if you have a lot of those mutations, your cells are going to perform so much better, you know, if we give you the right activated bees. Um, or if you tend to hold on to iron, that's another thing I think that's really important. You will have variants in those iron genes that show that this is always going to be an issue for you and you need to keep donating blood. You know, of course your iron has to be monitored, but if you have that mutation, you're not getting around it. It's not going to be like a one donation time and then you're good so um, or even looking at like making of glutathione the antioxidant some people are really compromised in that so how does that tie back into like your immune system so you're always going to need to support that you know either with food or with your supplements so um, so testing we really like strategy in these days that's dr. Ben Lynch's uh, site um, or you can do the other route, um, which is Ancestry.com or 23andMe and convert it into MTHFRsupport.com. Um, and so either are good. Strategy is more concise, though, and more streamlined, so we kind of prefer that. Um, and these are all self-ordering, so you just do it yourself, and then you bring those reports to us. Uh, okay, last one is joy. So it seems really, maybe, maybe seems simple, maybe it's not so simple. I feel like the last couple of years, I, you know, as a practitioner, um, I've seen this area be an area where people have really struggled, you know, and I think, you know, surviving is one thing, right? You know, and then having joy or recognizing joy or bringing it into your life is, is another thing, right? And, you know, I think, you know, I've come to the realization that, um, like anything else, like any other experience in your life, like sometimes you have to make that happen. Like you have to bring the joy or recognize the joy, right? You have to plan the joy sometimes. Um, and, and so, you know, I think first, like if it feels difficult and actually I think even if you're doing really well, sometimes, you know, starting with, um, recognizing small things, um, uh, I was talking with my marketing director today about like today, like even just seeing like a very small blue patch of sky, like, you know, like that brought me in, an intense amount of joy <laughs> because it's the Pacific Northwest. It's been raining nonstop. So, and really just that small thing was like, oh my God, amazing. And so, um, and then it might be a lot of people here, coffee, your coffee or, or petting your dog or, I mean, giving those things like you know, recognizing it and giving it the, the attention it deserves, the credit maybe. Um, and then going beyond that, you know, recognizing, uh, appreciating, you know, the people we have around us or, 
or again, the, the time you're like, oh, I get to whatever, like I get to go somewhere beautiful or I get to, you know, have a, I talked to my mom today and I never do. I just, just little things like that, like, you know, that you could say, that's good. I'm going to recognize that. Um, and then again, planning your joy. Like, I think like anything else, try to find segments of time where you're bringing in things that you really like, you know, whatever that is. I just had somebody tell me she loves knitting and like to be in a knitting group group is the most amazing thing and I like good but see for me that would not bring me joy <laughs> well, maybe the opposite of joy but for her like whoa that was she was so excited about it so really cultivate that this year I would just encourage you the last thing I would say I would really love so I don't know if you have heard of Mel Robbins she is a, a an attorney who turned like amazing life coach um, she's really incredible and her things she's pretty strong in how she recommends things and and which I think is great. Um, one of her things again, and this is kind of, kind of comes back to like, if you're having a hard time or if you're struggling, or if if like self-love is an issue, um, I love her recommendation and kind of says, you know, bring joy to yourself by recognizing yourself and loving yourself. Like, and her technique is like looking in the mirror and going, I love you, you know, I love you to yourself. Like how often do we do that? I mean, we're really hard on ourselves, but how often do we like say, I love you to you? It really doesn't happen that often. Um, and the other thing she recommends, or I think is actually kind of cool, is recognizing the things that you're doing right. You know, again, we tend to be kind of like, ah, oh, I forgot to do, oh, I didn't do that, I didn't do that. But how often do we go, you know what, you did that and you, kicked ass oh I think hopefully that's okay I said that you know like you are amazing like you know high five she calls it like a high five you high five yourself like in the mirror high five you know it seems silly but but again I think it actually it's kind of so silly it sort of brings joy like it's like oh I, I did do that that's good like so um yeah so to kind of wrap it up I mean I think, you know, it is about balance. Like we need to make sure our body, you know, is thriving, it is good, but we also need to make sure our spirit and our emotional, you know, spiritual self is also thriving and good. So, um, so love to guide you, you know, looking forward to being with you in 2022. And um, if you need anything, please reach out to us. We are here for you. Um, and I look forward to uh, seeing you next year.